The northern quoll is the largest marsupial carnivore in its region. It used to be distributed throughout all northern Australia, but it now seems to be restricted to the rocky habitats. My project was trying to figure out reasons why the quoll is restricted in their distribution. Their major threat is the cane toad. So the cane toad has toxins that as soon as the quoll eats them, it doesn't matter if the quoll decides it's not food, it'll spit it out, it still dies. So because of that, as the invasion front of the cane toads progresses, it's been swiping out northern quoll populations. This makes the Pilbara a very important region because located in Western Australia, it is the westernmost part of its region and cane toads have not arrived to this area, at least not yet. So it gives the perfect opportunity to try to understand which other drivers are restricting their, their distribution and endangering this wonderful species. We looked at top-down um, factors which are introduced predators and how are they influencing northern quoll distribution. But we were also looking at the dynamics of the northern quoll population and at bottom-up drivers which were considered as vegetation cover, the availability of enough vents where they can hide from the environment and to take rest during the day. To do this project, we use camera trapping, we use live trapping, and we also did a combination of vegetation surveys and surveys to find if dens were available or not in the different habitats surrounding the rocky areas where we know they exist. The key findings are that where we found quolls, we didn't find cats, and where we found cats, we didn't find quolls. This means that quolls are restricting their distribution because of cats. So cats are choosing the open habitats and leaving the rocky areas to quolls. This is very important information because it means that to recover the northern quoll populations in the Pilbara, we need to be thinking about cats and ways to control them. If you can imagine a rock outcrop, with many dens available and it has like the perfect environment to be protected from the cats and then when it's time to eat they will venture out a little bit out of the rock outcrop in order to find enough food and this we found through the diet analysis and prey availability uh, from the camera traps they didn't entirely match up prey species that were in the rocky habitats with the diet, which means that they are definitely outsourcing out of the rocky habitat. For this project, we received uh, funding and help from Western Australia's um, Department of Parks and Wildlife, also from the Australian Research Council, from Holdsworth Endowment, and from the NESP Threatened Species Hub. The Department of Parks and Wildlife had 10 long-term monitoring sites and this project was developed in two of those.